Right, this video here is going to be MMT of the muscles of the ankle. So first we're going to start with the gastroc. Um, so with the gastroc, they're going to start in standing. So we're trying to work on this or see the strength of this muscle right here. And what you're going to tell your patient is they need to stand by a table and hold on to it, but not use it to lift themselves up because all she's going to do is a single leg heel raise. So can you lift your right or left leg up for me? You're barely holding on to that table for balance. Try to lift up as high as you can. Awesome. So she's got one and then back down and just do as many as you can. So let's say that's three and then that's 25 right there. Just go ahead and stop. 25 heel raises is a five out of five. There are no pluses and minuses. So I know we just learned all that stuff and now we're gonna be changing it. I know that can be a little frustrating. So that's why you just gotta pay really close attention to how to do these, learn a couple of the tricks. 25 is a five. To get a four, she goes from two to 24 heel raises. I didn't write the book. <laughs> and for a three, she does just one. So go ahead and show me one heel raise again. So she does one. So you see that distance. And then when she comes back down, go ahead and try again. She barely goes up, just go up halfway. That doesn't count. So she did three, or I'm sorry, she did one. So her grade is a three. Now let's say she tries to do it and she can't lift up at all. So go ahead and try to lift for me again. Nothing, all right. We need to go to gravity minimized position. For this, it's going to be prone. <clears throat> All right, so once the patient gets prone, make sure there's enough room between the table and their foot. And we're going to break another one of the things we just learned in MMT. We're going to apply resistance through the range of motion. So what the patient's going to do is try to plant our flex as much as possible against manual resistance. So make it, uh, you know, it should be pretty hard. Remember, this is a second class lever. So there should be a lot of uh, strength that comes through this, even if the muscle is not very strong. So go ahead and try to plant our flex so it goes as far as you can. All right, she went pretty far. Check for full range of motion, that's it. She went through full range of motion against manual resistance in the gravity minimized position. She gets a two. Now let's say she couldn't push against me. So I'm gonna take my hand off and just see, go ahead and barely move your foot. That is gonna be a one. Also, if she doesn't move, I can palpate that gastroc along that tendon, just feel if there's a contraction. That is also a one. So there's two ways to get a one in this. Then for the zero, obviously no palpable contraction in that calf. So quick rundown, a five is 25 single leg heel races. A four is two to 24. A three is one. A two is full range of motion against manual resistance. A one is either partial range of motion or palpation. And a zero is nothing. All right, we're gonna finish uh, MMT in the seated position. There will be no gravity minimized positions for these next three measurements. Now, for the, at the ankle, uh, instead of doing just pure osteokinematic motion strength, we're gonna actually give you specific muscles. So let's do the peroneus longus first. So the peroneus longus is gonna run down that lateral side and it's gonna come around that back side of the lateral malleolus. So in class, we'll be going over the actual palpations for that. That'll just obviously be much better hands-on. But what it's gonna cause this uh, muscle to do is it's going to evert, but also a little bit of plantar flexion. So when we push out of here, we're gonna try to push out of the plantar flexion, yes, but that gastroc is also gonna help. So really make sure you're given a lot of push into the, uh, to go against the eversion, okay? So just like all the other MMTs, let's make sure the patient can go through that motion. So can you go through the one I just did for you? And then going down just to, there you go. Awesome full range of motion. Just double checking that there. All right, so then I'm gonna have her go to that same position. And because this is the ankle, it's not like the other MMT. A five, I'm gonna apply maximum pressure. So on three, one, two, three, hold, hold, hold. Great. So she didn't break under full pressure in the only position you can do. So you can say it's the against gravity position. <coughs> she gets a five. A four, same position. I'm gonna push on three. She is able to hold moderate pressure. So on three, one, two, three, hold, hold. There you go. She held moderate pressure before breaking against gravity position. That's a four. Then a three, she goes through full range of motion. She can't tolerate any. It just goes on three, one, two, three, boom, goes. There's no three plus. There are no pluses and minuses. So there's no fingertip resistance on this. Full range of motion is simply a three. Then barely, go, just go through partial range of motion on this one. All right, then I'm gonna double check that there's more. So there's a little bit more left. She's gonna earn a two, which is partial range of motion, staying in the same position. And then a one, I'm gonna have to palpate. And this is where we'll do this in class. So I'd have her try to evert, palpate back behind that malleolus. If I feel it, obviously, if it's a one, if not, it's a zero. 
Next, let's do the anterior tip. So we'll go over to this foot over here. The anterior tip is going to dorsiflex. It's going to dorsiflex, and then you should be able to easily palpate that tendon there. Make sure you separate it between that and the extensor hallucis longus tendon. So if you follow this guy, it should go underneath the foot, right? So get right under there. So the, it's going to dorsiflex, but also invert just a little bit. So I'm going to scoot over just a tad here. So we're going to want to make sure we push down. And it's always good to get your uh, ulna as perpendicular to the ground or the position you need to push as possible. So I'm going to push down and I'm going to try to push her out. So on three, one, two, three, hold, hold, hold. No movement, that's a five. Patient went through full range of motion against gravity, held maximal pressure without braking. Uh, four is going to be brakes under moderate pressure on three, one, two, three, hold, hold. All right, she held moderate pressure, so she earns a four. A three is partial range of motion, so go ahead and relax for a sec. Just go th uh, through full range. Awesome. Double check that. That's a three. A two is partial range of motion. Awesome. And then a one we need to palpate, so that's where you need to make sure you can find the correct tendon. So it's, again, like I said, it's going to be the one that's going to go underneath that foot. So I try to palpate. If I feel it, it's a one. Nothing, it's a zero. Then the last one we got here is the posterior tip. <coughs> so that is going to run down behind. So the anterior tip goes anterior to the malleolus, posterior goes behind. So what it's going to do, it helps inversion, but it also is going to plantar flex just a little bit because of where it is in relationship to the malleolus. So again, you can try to dorsiflex this thing, and you should, but at the same time, the gastroc is going to resist that a ton. So really make sure you're pushing into eversion. Same deal, full range of motion. She's got it. I'm going to push on three. One, two, three. Hold, hold, hold. That's a five, patient able to hold maximum pressure against gravity. A four, do the same thing on three, one, two, three, hold, hold. Patient was able to hold moderate pressure before breaking against gravity. And then a three is full range of motion. She's got full range. Two is partial range of motion, barely moves, I can move her more. A one, nothing happens, so I'm gonna have to palpate. And again, all these palpations will be done in class. So I feel the palpation, she gets a one. If I feel nothing, she gets a zero. So this uh, portion covered the anterior tib, the posterior tib, and the peroneus longus. Uh, and then the other video was the gastroc, and also you could add in the soleus to that. So really I want that to be a little bit of a homework question is how would I actually test the soleus from that previous video? So go back and check that out, and then let's see what you think about how we would test the soleus. And that's your ankle MMT.